Hey guys, so I thought I'd throw together a quick little video on the DVD cover. Um, this is a collector's edition, which is what I'm making right now for a fan. Um, the ones on the website will not say collector's edition. You'll notice two little black dots there. Two black dots, whoop, whoop, whoop. Two black dots out up on top. Those are where the page ends up getting folded for the spline. Um, pair of scissors, or if you have a fancy paper cutter, you could use that as well. I'm just going to cut the white parts off. Now, you'll notice if we cut the white parts, we're going to cut off those black dots. So before we cut it, let's actually fold it along those lines. I'm just going to use the edge of the table here. Now, you don't need a super sharp crease by any means. Um, I kind of just do like a... A simple thing like that. So we kind of know where it needs to sit in the DVD case. Um, you probably can get by without even folding it because it's going to be kind of sandwiched in there and it won't be able to go anywhere. And it'll kind of just naturally fold itself over time, but it works a little better if you grease it yourself ahead of time. So again, we're just. Uh, Alrighty, so there's the case, or the cover for the case, ready to be inserted. Then we need a empty DVD case. All of them I've ever seen, they always have this little plastic film that opens right up. Um, this is one from actually an old DVD that was... Uh, what was it on? Like, how to make your own money making websites or something? Probably a scam. Um, but I picked them up from a resale shop for a couple bucks many, many years ago. And uh, I, I didn't really learn anything from it. But I didn't get scammed because I didn't spend the $40 that the guy was originally selling them for. Um, it should be a snug fit. As you will notice here, you pretty much have to put it in straight, otherwise it won't go in. Um, and you just gotta take your time, get it in there. Come on. Uh, one thing you can sometimes do is reach up from the inside kind of pull it down. Being careful not to crease it. I mean, paper will bend to a certain degree, but if you bend it too far, it could crease. Now, in this case, paper is actually a little tall. So I might just go back and trim a hair off of it. Um, this was made to specs for DVD cases, this one. I wouldn't imagine it's substandard, but you'll notice if I go up a little closer here, and it focuses on that. There you can see it good without the highlight on it. There's that little bit on the top. If I can get some to glaze off of here. There's a little bit on the bottom too. Um, if you did have an industrial paper cutter, very easy to remedy that. But you'll notice, we've got a nice cover there edge of it, the back. If you actually want to read that, just hop on over onto the website, visit the blog post, grab the image from there. If you are printing it out, please click on the high res version. The low res version, if you print it out on something like this, it's probably going to end up looking pretty junky. I forget what the DPI setting is on this. I don't even know. But you'll notice even on here, and I blame my printer for this, that looks a little grainy, and you kind of notice the ribboning going on in there. That's because I have dirty print heads, which is unfortunate. But 
It's an old printer. Still works. Ink's been refilled who knows how many times. It just wearing out, so it kind of does that. But and this also wasn't printed at the highest quality that my printer can output. I may just go ahead and do that because this is one that I'm sending out to volunteers. They probably really should have the best quality that way I can get. So, but there you go. Uh, quick video on how to get the graphic and put it in your own DVD case. I will provide the download link for the graphic in the description box below and I'll also include the torrent link for the ISO file for the DVD so you can download the DVD and burn that to a disc and then print the cover and be on your way to mass producing and distributing the life of Christ. Thanks for watching I'll catch you guys next time.